next poem says, From a bedroom window a girl drops a water-filled balloon to the ground 6.0 meters below. If the balloon is released from rest, how long is it in the air? The photo that I found here is in, from a little town in Portugal, where all the white stuff that you see on the ground, those are actually water balloons from the previous um, evening during Mardi Gras. So, anyway, let's see what information is given. I guess the total distance here is 6.0 meters because it's being dropped down, that distance is considered to be negative. And how long is it in the air? So they're asking for time. Distance is given, negative 6.0 meters. There's information applied, the initial velocity starts from rest, so 0 meters per second. And the acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared and the equation to use would be 2.8 which says y equals v0 initial velocity times time plus one half times acceleration times time squared fortunately this velocity here is zero because if it wasn't, then we would end up with a quadratic equation. But since this one is zero, we just have to take the square root in order to get the time. And again, here's the algebra. And again, you should be able to follow that algebra and do it yourself. So 2y divided by the acceleration, take the square root. Here's the result. And again, I have a negative distance and a negative acceleration, so I take the square root of a positive number, which is good. My result is, there are going to be two results because it's a square root, so I'm going to come up with a positive time with a negative time. Well, I choose the positive time because something happens in the future, and not it didn't hit the, the ground before um, she actually dropped it, so I can't use the negative time. Mathematically, when I take the square root, I come up with two solutions, but in this case, and in the pa last case, um, only one of them makes sense. At the beginning of a basketball game, a referee tosses the ball straight up with a speed of 4.6 meters per second. A player cannot touch the ball until after it reaches its maximum height and begins to fall down. What is the minimum time that a player must wait before touching? the ball. So it says that the referee throws up the ball about here I guess with a speed of 4.6 meters per second. The um, My question would be how did they figure that out? Um, I believe they did actually the other way around. They measured the they estimated the distance that the ball goes up and then calculated from that the um, the, the speed with which it should have been thrown and that's how they present the problem to us. That's pretty much yeah, all the information that is given here. So the initial velocity is 4.6 meters per second. We're supposed to figure out what the time is. Let's see what else is given or implied. Well, of course, gravity acts on it. So this one is given as negative 9.80 meters per second squared. Let's see. The distance is not given, and we're not supposed to figure it out. The velocity is not given, and we're not supposed to figure it out. But it says a player cannot touch the ball until after it reaches its maximum height. So what happens at the maximum height? Well, the ball stops just momentarily. That means at the maximum height, the final velocity is zero meters per second. So if we look closely at the problem, then we come up with that additional information. And now, again, we look for an appropriate equation, and that one is 2 point, sorry, 2.4, where it says V equals V0 plus AT, because the velocity is 0, at the, at the peak, that's the way it looks like, so I'm going to do the algebra on this one here, time equals, I need to get the velocity, the initial velocity to the other side, so it's going to be negative v0 
and then I divide by the acceleration equals, and you're going to come up with something. Uh, in fact, I can just about give this away. 4.6 divided by 9.8 is roughly half a second. And look at the negatives. There's a negative here, and there's a negative on the 9.8, so the time that you're going to come up with is positive, which makes sense because the ball is going to reach the maximum height after, that means a positive time in the future, the referee released it. 